lovelies. Good morning. It's your day. It's Flamingo Friday. Hi, Rhett. Hi, Scarlett. Good morning, everybody. Happy Flamingo Friday. We're walking along, following a flamingo. What you guys doing? Hi. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. That you have a feather on your face. Scarlet, how are you? Scarlet. Gorgeous. You take a bow too. Good job. So I'm going to sit here on the bench. Posture though. Stand tall. Butterflies in the air. You guys want to go for a walkabout? We can see look at all those butterflies up there.
Okay, we can go over here. The heat's on over here on path one. <laughs> oh, we don't like that. Oh, there's lots of butterflies in the air. That's not exactly a favorite of Red and Scarlet. job of demonstrating how she they put oil on their feathers. The oil glands in their neck right there. And they rub that oil on their feathers to keep them waterproof. Susan asked do we bathe the flamingos? Well they they have a shower system. If they wish to take a shower they can. Strung up there on the ceiling there's that rectangle. It rains about every 30 minutes or so. If they want to take a shower, they can. Sometimes they like a shower, sometimes they like a bath. But they do it on their own. They're not involved. Man, I see all these beautiful butterflies over here. What if I stand near and protect you? Look how pretty they are. This way, so we don't have to look at the water cart in the background. Hi. Try again. I'm gonna try to be brave. There's lots of beautiful butterflies over there. We don't touch the flamingos because they work really hard, like he is right there, to keep themselves waterproof by producing an oil and rubbing it on all their feathers. If we were to touch them, that oil would come off on us. watch the webcam we do have a wedding tomorrow night five o'clock you want to watch it's at keywestbutterfly.com 
<laughs> what are you doing in there? You gonna fly out? It's a little flail in the mop bucket. You're gonna have to use your wings. I can help you if you want. But you could fly. Show people how you fly. People think the little flail are flightless, but they're not. They're just not very good at it. Thank you, Scarlett. She's so pretty. Come on, Wilson. Come on, Wilson. Oh, now you can fly. <laughs> she flew out. No more coil in the bucket. Do butterflies land on visitors if they choose to? Yes. Not, not always, but sometimes. Mop is Morpho approved. Yolanda's new mop. New Morpho stamp of approval. Yeah, I know, I saw. I saw. What are you looking at up there? Okay, we'll all look up there, see if we can see what we're looking at. Beautiful clouds. There's some doves. Those doves saying something you don't agree with? You see that right there? People always ask me, what happens if Red and Scarlet step on a butterfly. Right there, before your very eyes, Rhett stepped on that blue morpho that was sitting on the drain, stepped on it, took another step, and the butterfly flew off. They're super lightweight, and they step very gently. So even with direct impact like that, that butterfly was totally fine. Flew off. Temperature here today is in the high 60s, I think. It might be low 70s. It's quite comfortable. We have the heat on in here to get it up to 80 degrees. Good evening, Australia. Good afternoon, UK. Good morning, most of you. No, oh, so they have oil glands in their neck. I'll try to show you, right? So they've been really preening a lot this morning, so they have all the oil out of their neck onto their feathers. But just below Scarlet, can you show them your oil glands? See right there. <laughs> There's a little spot just below their head, the top of their neck, that is, it's usually a little bit ruffled up. That's 
where they excrete the oil for their feathers. Put the herd on that quarter wheel a little bit today. With the wedding, we can't even see the birds. We have a wedding tomorrow. So, webcam watchers, Josh is going to trim this back today so you can see more of the pond and the wedding tomorrow night. quarter weed and it grows like a weed. It's hard to keep up. So right up there is the webcam and this was cut back about three weeks ago and it's already way overgrown again. We'll trim it today. Oh look, there goes Casper. Casper wants to go back over there to his little lair, but the ducks are hanging out there. He has a little clubhouse over there. Casper has this really cool little thing. It's over there in the weed, in the roots of the fern. Like a little hammock and everything. Yes, we have a webcam at keywestbutterfly.com. 24 hours a day when the internet works, which is most of the time except when it's raining. It rained all day yesterday. When it wasn't raining, we didn't have power. Now your head's all wet. Yes, the webcam's always on when we have it in internet. That's my breakfast. Wendy made it special. Mmm. Yummy. Just for you. Put it down right there. Oh, yummy.
Well, happy Flamingo Friday, everybody. Thank you guys for walking with me. I hope you all have a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you Monday for more Faux Monday, but we will have slow motion Saturday and Sunday photo roundup. That duck is a mandarin duck. They're male and female pair of mandarin ducks. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you for everything. Don't forget the wedding tomorrow night if you want to watch at keywestbutterfly.com. Thank you for everything. <laughs>